Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I will be showing you how I got these big bushy brows. If you want to see how I did this, then please keep on watching. So this is the kit that we will be working with today. It's from the brand Iconsign and I got it from Shopee for 315 pesos. This is what it looks like inside. So it has a lash glue. It has the perming solution, a fixation solution. Um, nutrition oil to keep your brows moisturized and hydrated after and then a cleanser it also comes with the lift pads for the lash lift as well as some clean tools so let me show you what the clean tool looks like um, we're not going to be using the lift pads for this video because we will be doing our brows instead of our eyelashes so this is the box that comes with the clean tool you get three pieces of this inside. It's actually called a Y brush, and this is what it looks like. Yeah, so it's just this plastic brush with a comb, and it looks very sharp. Anyway, so you get three of that. Also, there are instructions at the back of the box, so I like that a lot. So for our step one is use the cleanser or solution number four to remove oil, dust, and makeup residue. So I'm taking the cleanser and I'm just going to go in with a Q-tip to clean around the area of my eyebrow. I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm just wearing a tinted moisturizer. So... We don't really have much dirt to remove. Just make sure that the general area of the brow is clean. After cleansing the general area of the eyebrows, I am now applying glue using the Y brush. Now, if I could just turn back the time, I wouldn't use the Y brush at all. It was very sharp. So please stick to using a spoolie. I did cut myself doing this. Also, as you can see, I'm not using the glue that came with the kit because I tried that one out and it really did not do anything for me. The glue that I'm using here is from my favorite, which is Kiss. I noticed that the best method for brushing up your eyebrows are using a spoolie and then flattening out, out with your fingers. You may also use a toothbrush for this. Next, using a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm just applying number one perming solution onto my eyebrows, making sure that each and every strand is covered and well coated. Do this very, very gently, otherwise you might disturb the lash glue underneath. But if ever that happens, just make sure that you are brushing the brow hair into the position of how you want your brows to end up looking like. This part is very, very crucial. Once my brows are evenly coated, I'm just going to take some saran wrap that I pre-cut earlier and cover that up for 10 to 12 minutes before moving on to the next step. I did 10 minutes by the way. Alright, so it's only been a few minutes. It's been 8 minutes, so I still have 2 minutes left. And I'm not sure if you can see it through the plastic, but as you can see, I have some bleeding on my... It doesn't hurt at all. And I think this is the culprit. As I've said, it is very sharp. So please don't use the eye brush for brushing up your brows please stick to using a spoolie instead. So that's it. So I'm going to wait one more minute and then I'm going to take this off. All right, so it has exactly been 10 minutes. So I'm going to take this off. Ugh. And then next step is remove the perm solution number one with the Y brush, then apply fixing agent number two on the eyebrow and then fix your eyes with a plastic wrap again. So. I won't be using this part, I won't be using the side with the comb and just using this flat part to get rid of the excess product. Alright, so we're 
going in with the number two fixation. So I'm just following the same instructions as I did when I applied the perming solution. I'm still using the same brush and just wiped off the excess product from earlier. Again, make sure that your brows are all covered and well saturated with the solution as this fixes each strand of your eyebrow hair in place. Alright, so it has been 10 minutes, so I'm going to take this off. Okay, so as you can see, most of the redness have subsided. Next, I'm dipping a Q-tip onto the cleanser and I'm vigorously wiping off all the product and glue off of my eyebrows. This took some time since I really went hard with that glue. I'm really impressed by this cleanser, it really does its job well. However, I was very careful while using this because there's not really much of it. Once I was done with the initial cleaning with the Q-tip, I switched on over to a cotton pad to cover up more brow area just to speed things up a bit. Once they were completely clean, I went ahead and applied the nutrition solution using a Q-tip, deeply saturating and coating each and every strand. I then proceeded to use a spoolie to brush my brow hair back into position and shape them as I would like. Alright, so this is how my brows turned out. They're really thick and bushy. I really like how they look. Alright, so just a few reminders before you purchase this product and use it for yourself. Um, make sure that you patch test everything, especially the perming solution. Um, you know, better safe than sorry. And then next, another reminder, please be careful if you are going to use the Y tool or the Y brush. Make sure that you are careful especially when using this side which has the comb which has yeah it has really small teeth and it's very very sharp as i've mentioned earlier i did cut myself using this and then another thing is if you have a if you have an eyelash glue that you already like please use that instead of this this really sucks it sucks okay that's it. I will I won't be using this for anything else or for anything for that matter so that's pretty much it so I'm going to use this for lifting my eyelashes next if you want to see that video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload videos I will be uploading that video in a few days or in a week so please stay tuned for that and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't. All of my social media handles will be listed down below so go ahead and check that out if you want. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on my next video.